hey guys welcome back to next gen blog and in this video i want to show you how you can create custom motion graphic tiles in vscc free video editor now it's actually super easy to create custom motion graphic tiles in vscc so without further delay let's get started and see how you can do this now to demonstrate this i've already imported a demo video in the editor so this is my demo video right here and the first thing which I would like to do is I would like to reduce the duration of this video. So currently the duration of this video is 14 seconds, 200 milliseconds. So I would like to reduce the duration of this video to just 5 seconds. So let me just write 05.000 inside the duration option and press enter. Perfect. Now right click on the video and then select convert to sprite. Now look inside the sprite object settings, use as container is set to yes, so change this to no. Show effects is set to no, so change this to yes. And fill background is set to yes, so change this to no. Perfect. Now double click on the sprite object and the first thing which we will do is we will add a rectangle object on top of the screen. So go to add object, select rectangle and then click on OK. Now mark your rectangle object on top of the screen like this and then click on this option which is set the same size as the parent has. Now we will change the color inside the rectangle. So currently the color inside the rectangle is white. So I would like to change that to black. So look inside the rectangle object settings and you will find this color option where currently white is selected. So change this from white to black and then click on ok perfect now double click on the rectangle object and now we will add another rectangle object so go to add object select rectangle and then click on ok now mark your rectangle object at this particular position on the screen and look above you will find these different rectangle styles so generally this is the style which is selected but i would want you to select this particular style so this particular rectangle has rounded corners so i would like to select this particular style and next what you need to do is you need to select or click on this blend option and then select xor perfect so right here what I've done is I've created a small window using this particular rectangle object. Perfect. Now let's add our second rectangle object. So go to add object, select rectangle and then click on OK. Now mark your second rectangle object right at the top like this and once again click on blend and select XOR now go to add object once again select rectangle and then click on OK now mark your third rectangle object like this and then click on blend and select XOR and finally go to add object once again select rectangle and then click on OK. Mark your fourth rectangle object like this and click on blend and select XR. Perfect. So I've successfully created the tiles. All right. And now I would like to add motion to these particular tiles to these four tiles. And so what we will do is first we will double click on this particular rectangle and I will add push transition. So go to video effects, go to transitions, select push and then click on OK. Now place this push transition right at the beginning like this and look inside the push settings. Type is set to door. So change this from door to side and this is left to right so inside mode i need to select right to left 
directly set to false so change this from false to true and inside gradient length currently the value is 50 percent so write zero inside the gradient length option and press enter and so now if i just quickly play this video for you perfect now click on this push transition press ctrl c to copy it and then press ctrl v to paste it now place this second push transition right at the end like this and look inside the push settings once again type is set to side mode is right to left directly set to true so change this from true to false perfect and so if i just quickly play this thing perfect now what we will do next is we will double click on this particular rectangle object which is present at the top we will double click on this rectangle object since i have already copied my push transition earlier i simply need to click ctrl v and right here is my third push transition look inside the push settings once again type is set to side mode is right to left so this is the rectangle which i am kind of you know adding motion so i would like this particular rectangle to come from top to bottom so right here i need to select bottom to top and directly set to true gradient length is already set to zero percent so if i just quickly play this video for you perfect now press ctrl v once again and place this fourth push transition right at the end like this and look inside the push settings once again type is side mode is right to left so i need to select um, bottom to top right here directly set to true so change this from true to false and now let me just check perfect now let's go back and double click on this third rectangle object which we had created earlier and i would like this particular rectangle object to come from bottom to top so press ctrl v to paste the push transition look inside the push settings once again type is side mode is right to left so since i want this particular rectangle to come from um, bottom to top i need to select top to bottom inside the mode directly is already set to true gradient length is zero percent so if i just quickly play this video for you perfect now press ctrl v once again place this second push transition right at the end um, this is bottom to top so i need to select I need to select top to bottom directly set to true so I need to change this from true to false inside the push settings and if I just quickly play this video perfect and finally we are on to our last rectangle object which is this one so double click on this rectangle object press ctrl v look inside the push settings this particular rectangle object i want this rectangle to come from um, right to left so look inside the push settings mode is type is set to side mode is right to left so i need to select left to right directly set to true gradient length is zero percent and so if i just quickly play this video perfect finally press ctrl v once again place this push transition right at the end this is right to left so i need to select left to right inside the mode option type is already side inside the push settings directly set to true so i need to change this from true to false gradient length is already set to zero percent so if i just quickly play this entire thing for you from start to end so this is the custom motion graphic tile which i have created perfect perfect so this is just a small thing which i have created um, 
you can place these styles or create these styles anywhere you want on screen it really depends on your imagination what you really want to do and um, you just need to try different things and then you can create you know something amazing out of this but uh, anyways do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel i will again see you in the next video till then thanks for watching